U.S. Secretary of Defense Pete Hegseth recently visited Redstone Arsenal in Alabama, the future home of U.S. Space Command. During this high-profile visit, Army officers briefed him on the long-range hypersonic weapon, better known as Dark Eagle, and shared new details about what the system can actually do. In that on-camera walkthrough, the Army's hypersonics lead described Dark Eagle as a conventional boost glide weapon with a range of around 3,500 kilometers, capable of reaching targets such as mainland China from Guam or Moscow from London in under 20 minutes. These claims give the clearest public picture so far of how the U.S. Army sees Dark Eagle being used in a real conflict. So in today's video, we're taking a closer look at Dark Eagle itself, how its boost glide system works, and what these new details tell us about its role in U.S. and Allied strike plans. Let's dive in. The long-range hypersonic weapon itself isn't new. The program took shape in the late 2010s as part of Washington's broader push for conventional hypersonic strike. However, the Army formally attached the Dark Eagle name in 2021 when the first prototype launchers and battery operations center were delivered. At its core, the long-range hypersonic weapon is a boost glide system. A two-stage solid-fuel rocket booster lofts a common hypersonic glide body or CHGB, to high altitude and speed. After separation, the unpowered glide body re-enters the upper atmosphere and descends toward its target along a maneuvering, non-ballistic path at hypersonic speeds, defined as above Mach 5. The LRHW is ground-launched and road-mobile. Each Dark Eagle battery uses transporter erector launchers with two missile canisters per vehicle supported by a battery operations center and additional command and logistics vehicles. Current plans call for one LRHW battery in each of the U.S. Army's multi-domain task forces, giving theater commanders a small but very high-end pool of conventional hypersonic strike assets. In terms of performance, public documents describe Dark Eagle as having a reported range of about 2,800 kilometers, with some more recent open sources suggesting test profiles in the 3,000 to 3,700 kilometer class. In practical Indo-Pacific terms, that puts large areas of coastal China and interior military infrastructure in reach from launch points in places like Guam, Northern Australia, or parts of Japan, depending on basing. There are, however, clear limits on what is officially disclosed. The U.S. Army and Navy emphasize that Dark Eagle is a conventional-only system, but they do not publish precise figures for warhead weight, circular error probable, terminal speed, or impact energy. Open sources generally describe a maneuvering glide body with a high-precision conventional payload, a range above roughly 2,700 kilometers, and speeds above Mach 5 without confirming detailed performance numbers. What's interesting is that Dark Eagle's glide body is shared across services. The common hypersonic glide body is based on decades of U.S. work on advanced re-entry vehicles, including Sandia National Laboratory's Swerve and the Army's earlier advanced hypersonic weapon program. Sandia is responsible for the design, while Dynetics manufactures prototypes and test units. This common design is also being used in the Navy's ship and submarine-launched intermediate-range conventional prompt strike, which helps spread development costs across multiple programs. Testing has followed a stepped pattern. The glide body itself has gone through a series of flight tests dating back to 2017 and 2020, with both successes and setbacks. A major joint Army-Navy test in Hawaii in 2022 failed after a booster problem, showing just how sensitive the integrated system is to launch anomalies. Subsequent work focused on mature booster stages and launcher hardware, culminating in successful tests in 2024 and 2025 that demonstrated full end-to-end -end performance from ground launch through glide and terminal impact. On the Army side, the first Dark Eagle battery received its launchers and support equipment in 2021 and has since deployed for training and integration events, 
including a Navy-led exercise in the Pacific. Strategically, the Point of Dark Eagle is conventional prompt strike against very high-value, time-sensitive, or heavily defended targets. A maneuvering hypersonic glide body is much harder to track and intercept than a traditional ballistic missile following a predictable arc. That makes it attractive for hitting integrated air defense nodes, long-range radar sites, hardened command centers, or key missile batteries deep inside an adversary's anti-access bubble, especially in a scenario involving China. At the same time, there are real constraints. Dark Eagle is expensive, with unit costs in the tens of millions of dollars per missile in many estimates. Production volumes are modest, with a handful of rounds per year ramping up only gradually, which means this will remain a niche capability rather than a mass-fire weapon for the foreseeable future. It also lives inside a broader hypersonic portfolio that includes air-launched programs and lower-cost systems like the Blackbeard concept, which aim at higher volumes. Dark Eagle is not a silver bullet, and much of its detailed performance remains classified. But for U.S. planners, it adds a new kind of long-range conventional pressure on high-value targets in China and elsewhere, fitting into a wider shift toward faster, more survivable strike options. So, what do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to Defense Central for the latest defense news and analysis.